Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Let's start with love, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Okay, that card wanted to come out. Your life does not get better by chance, but it gets better by change. All right, so there's something you need to change. Okay, change direction, change course, change force is what I heard. So maybe you're forcing something. You need to change that. You need to do everything that you're doing. You need to turn it on its head. Do the opposite. All right, let's see what else is going on for Virgo. Um, life is tough, but so are you. Okay, so these cards are about love. So maybe your love life is tough right now, or you have to maintain that tough exterior. You can't fall apart, um, but you, you're feeling like um, you could be feeling real bad or low or depressed here. It says never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Maybe this is what you did in this relationship or you have done that. It looks like with you choosing you and going in a new direction, you're going to be moving onto a steady and reliable path. You can trust yourself, right? You can't really trust you with someone else. You can't entrust someone else or put your trust in someone else here. It could be that you're lovesick over someone, you can't get out of bed, or maybe they feel this way about you, or you had gone through that. You thought that something was going to change, something was going to be for the better. Maybe it is not, um, or it hasn't been. Let's see what else is going on for uh, Virgo here. Let's see, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? What do you want to? Okay. So not physically attracted to my partner. That could be you. That could be the other person. Someone's just not finding the attraction there. Uh, they're kind of neutral with that white card coming out. Somebody you could love laying in their arms or lying in their arms. Um, you could be thinking about this. This is what keeps you stuck. A uh, level of nostalgia. You could be a part of maybe like a mean girl club or again, you're trying to maintain your toughness or that you just didn't care, but maybe you fell in love. You were trying to maintain this, you know, no strings attached. I can engage in anything type of no, yeah, no strings attached, carefree connection, but maybe you fell in love, especially when someone said that they were never getting their divorce or this is what happened in your relationship. Maybe your person stepped outside of the marriage, but you're not leaving and they're not leaving and maybe this third party thought that you know they had shit in the bag right um let's see you got a lot of jealous friends or just in need of something else or in need of other people to be around you need to get, gain some spiritual awareness okay for some of you just want someone to apologize forgive me i'm sorry or this is what someone's asking of you you need to go through a deep healing phase, leap into the dark, into the the abyss and, and really, you know, to the dark deeps of your soul. OK, some of you, again, you're dealing with somebody who's married. They get a spoiled, rotten wife and this person is not leaving them and they're not leaving their marriage. Let's see what's going on for you in career and finance. Um, some of you wanted to be in a relationship that was going to go towards marriage here. That's what you were hoping for. And you were holding out for this. And this person just disappointed you. Um, I heard again. Okay. All right. So uh, windfall, good luck, energy, money, time. Definitely luck could be money. So that's what's happening in your career and finance sector. Okay. You got some decisions to make. Okay, so weigh the pros and the cons. It's a heavy decision within your career finance. It could be to stay or to go in your career. Let's see, what is this about for Virgo? Memories. Okay, so maybe memories keep you tied to a, a business, a company. Um, you're not sure if you can leave. You've had so many great memories here. Maybe with this crew or with this whoever you work with. 
dietary change. So um, some of you might need to change your diet. Her military healing from the past. Again, you got a lot of healing to do. Some of you walk around with a chip on your shoulder um, and it's carrying over into every aspect of your life. Maybe you've been used or you didn't get paid what you were worth in your career and financing. You're carrying that with you, but the end of an era is here. You don't have to worry about that happening again, but you're still harboring those sentimental feelings, those leftover feelings for being taken advantage of. And it makes you emotional or make it takes you to making emotional or rational decisions here. You got to be true to you and whatever it is you want to do, but have a surefire plan of execution. Let's see. What do we got going on here? We're going to leave you with two cards of advice, the 10 of wands and the seven of cups. Okay. So being taken for granted, um, maybe a, a karmic relationship, be intentional in everything that you engage in. Somebody could be really busy with work and it has nothing to do with you. You could be moving or you get to choose where you're going to move. You have a lot of options. Make sure you know what you're doing before you part with your money, before you sign on the dotted line. Listen to your intuition. change your diet so that you can listen to your intuition there is someone that like a friend group loss of friend i don't know if you're you're jealous or they're jealous of you or they're still in the energy or maybe them being in your energy or there's still a vibe of them like maybe looking in on you or this is what you're doing yeah you gaining knowledge about them or vice versa You want to know what they're doing, what their ambitions are or vice versa. This is what's going on. Like if you and a friend have kind of fell out or there was like a, a fallout or backing out, then it's like, I don't know if they're sneaking around you or asking about you or asking around. Um, but it's like whatever you're looking for, you definitely going to find it. Um, somebody is standing in their authority, though, not speaking. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Sunday night. Thank you for being here again. Take care. Many blessings to you.